hey man, by now I'm pretty sure everyone's seen Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey at UFC 300. Maybe you didn't watch it live that day. Maybe, who knows, man. You, maybe you didn't watch it live that day. But by now, I'm pretty sure. If you're an MMA fan, you've, you've seen Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey, bro. That, it, it was incredible, dog. It was freaking incredible. Anything, any praise anyone gives, it's a million times more than that. What Max Holloway did to Justin Gagey was unreal, right? Don't forget... Before the fight, so many people, like, I would say like 85% of people were saying, Justin Gagey is going to kill Max Holloway. Justin Gagey is going to be the first one to knock Max Holloway out, man. And it made sense. It's Justin Gagey, and it's at 155. So it's not like it's a hating thing, like, oh, people hate Max Holloway. They were saying that. No, bro, it, it makes sense, bro. Like, if I, if I play LeBron James in one-on-one, everyone's going to freaking bet on lebron james obviously right so it's like but obviously that the, the gap is not even close but you get what i'm saying dog so it made sense why people were saying justin gagey is gonna run through freaking max holloway no diddy now by the way this is benny the bear this is my product i created benny the bear it's not like a sponsor dog who's gonna sponsor me this is a gift for stoners look smoking a joint I don't smoke, but I'm in Los Angeles and everyone smokes. And it's a cool, like, accessory gift to give to your stoner friend, your stoner boyfriend, your stoner girlfriend, your stoner brother, whatever, man. Or buy it for yourself, man. Put it on the countertop, blaze with it, bro. Chill, man. If you want to support me, go to www.litplush.com. I'll post a link in the description. If you buy one, you're supporting me. If you don't want to support me, dog, it's okay. <laughs> no one buys on anyways, dog. And must be 21 and older to order. Benny the Bear. That last 10 seconds, right? That last 10 seconds where Max Holloway clearly won that fight, which is incredible. The fight was amazing, bro. The fight was freaking amazing. Max Holloway, dog's a G. And props to Justin Gagey, dog. Justin Gagey is a dog, bro. But this is about Max Holloway. That last 10 seconds, Max Holloway knowing he won the fight. He won the fight. One of the, the most amazing wins ever. He goes in the middle of the floor and does this. And you guys saw how it ended. They bang it out, no ditty, and Max Holloway knocks Justin Gagey out, bro. And everyone's jaw is to the floor. They even put the camera on Ilya Taporia, and he was like this. Like, he was speechless, dog. A lot of people were saying, oh, my God, he's so scared. I don't think he was scared, bro. I think, oh, I mean, no, man, come on. He was just probably speechless. I don't know, in, in an interview today, he said, oh, I didn't know the camera was on me, but come on, dog. Now... Ilya Taporia, after the fight, did an interview, and Max Holloway also said, I want to fight Ilya Taporia next, okay? And Ilya Taporia did an interview after the fight, and he did an interview today on the MMA Hour, Ariel Hawani Show. Both interviews, he basically said the same thing, okay? Let me just tell you what he said. In the beginning, he said, oh, I gave props to Max Holloway. It was a, he, he did a good job, right? And then he said, it was nothing special, right? He said, it was, it was like the fight was nothing special. There was no strategy. It was nothing special. He's saying he didn't do anything special. He's not like, if it wasn't for, he says it right here. If it wasn't for the last 10 seconds, I didn't like the fight at all. I didn't see any technique. I didn't see any strategy. I didn't say any blah, 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 blah. He said if it wasn't for the last 10 seconds, I didn't like the fight. Now, ask yourself this. Imagine that last 10 seconds didn't happen. Imagine that last 10 seconds would have happened, didn't happen. You would still think that was a crazy fight, bro. You know it. I know it, bro. Like, just that. No one was expecting that last 10 seconds. Once it was 10 seconds left, everyone was cheering, bro. Because we know, obviously, people were cheering because they know they're, they're about to go bang it out. No diddy, dog. But we knew it was a crazy fight. And Max Holloway did the unthinkable, bro. And that 10 seconds happened. It was like the cherry on top. But Ilya Taporia said... That 10 seconds, if it wasn't for that dance, 10 seconds, I didn't even like to fight at all. Now, here's the thing he never mentions in these interviews, okay? In the last interview and in today's interview. He never mentions who Max Holloway was fighting, Doug. He's acting like Max Holloway was just fighting some random dude, bro. Random dude at 145, and he did what he did. Bro, Max Holloway, hey, Ilya, can you see me? 
Max Holloway was fighting Justin Gagey, bro. If not the scariest guy at 155, one of the scariest guys. And I'm talking about like knockout power, bro. One of the scariest guys at 155. And that's what Max Holloway did to him, bro. And it looks like this fight's going to happen. It looks like Max Holloway versus uh, Ilya Taporia is going to happen. And he was talking about it happening in the sphere. Now, Ilya, Ariel Hawani asked Ilya Taporia, I was like, oh, would you want it to be for the BMF title? He said, yeah, of course. If it's not for the BMF belt... I, I'll go fight Volkanovski. He deserves it more. It has to be for the BMF belt. Well, of course it's going to be for the BMF belt. But Ilya Taporia just shrugging off like, ah, oh, unless it was for that last 10 seconds, bro. Max Holloway is a dog. And I'm not an analyst, like an expert. Oh, uh, uh, he, he's three inches short taller. He's uh, 45%. I don't think none of that matters. Most of that doesn't matter, right? I think Max Holloway is a horrible matchup for Ilya Taporia. I just think, Max, so this is like me and the homies talking, bro. It's like, you know when your homies talk, you can't give stats? You can't say why? This is just me talking like that. I think Max Holloway is a horrible matchup for Ilya Taporia. Now, I did say Volkanovski is going to humble Ily Ilya Taporia. I did say that. And I hope, he was talking about the fight being at the end of the year or something, November, I think he said something along the lines. I hope Max Holloway takes a long, long break. No diddy, okay? I hope he takes a long break, bro, because I know, I think he said that knockdown wasn't counted as a knockdown, but it was a knockdown, and it was a hard fight, bro. He got hit a lot. I just hope he doesn't make the same mistake Volkanovski did. Not Volkanovski got knocked out, right? Volkanovski got knocked out, and he came back early. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But I hope Max Holloway takes a really long break, man. A really long break, and then when he comes back, Fights Ilya Taporia, man. I don't want to see Ilya Max Holloway going, coming back in two months and fighting. It, it makes no sense, man. But I, but I do think Max Holloway is a horrible matchup for Ilya Taporia. I truly think. I know I'm biased, bro, and, and I'm starting to like Ilya Taporia. I know he's a little cocky and stuff, but I, I like like after I I like him more once he beat Volkanovski. As much as it, like it killed me, it killed me, dog. But I just think Max Holloway, dog, is. He's in, he's on another form, and he's only 32 years old. He even said it. He's like, people act like I'm 40, and me personally, I thought he's like 37, 38, okay? He's only 32 years old, bro, and one more thing. He did say, Ilya Taporia did say, oh, Max Holloway couldn't do anything with Volkanovski for three fights, and look at what I did with only nine minutes. One more time, I'm no expert. We're just homies, bro, like, <laughs> no statistics. MMA math doesn't work, dog. MMA math doesn't work. And we saw how Max Holloway looked versus Justin Gages. But let me know what you think of this in the comments, man. Who do you think will win? Ilya Taporia or Max Holloway? Let me know what you think of this in the comments. And it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification. Thanks so much for watching.